guys, Coach here, and thanks for taking a couple of minutes to join me for this week's plan of the week. Hey, I hear lots of lots of requests for things that would uh, be a smaller scale privacy screen, and I'd like to introduce you to the Blue Point Juniper. It's uh, it's not an arborvitae, it's not a cypress, uh, it's not a Leyland cypress, so you don't have something that's going 20 feet tall. These guys here grow a little bit slower, and they max out. If they were super happy, they probably max out at 15 feet, but my guess would probably be 10 to 12. And a breadth of probably five, maybe six feet wide. They're great for privacy type of screens. And they're hardy devils, man, down to like zone four, which is way below zero. And they have the little different color. It's not the Kelly Green type of arborvitae color. It's more of the blue-gray. And so you can have something like this and then contrast something down in front of it and make a nice fence line bed or a, a neighborhood living fence out front, whatever you'd like to do. They do take uh, light shearing. I wouldn't butcher them all the time, but you could, you could shear them maybe once a year if you wanted to keep them very formal. Oftentimes people will take them and spiral these or they'll topiary them them that way. Blue Point Juniper, one that is uh, almost industrial strength. Just make sure that you prep that hole, that you give it water at least twice a week throughout the growing season, and probably, depending on your soil conditions, three times a week when you first plant it, especially in the warmer weather that we're getting into now. All right, hey, thanks for joining me. Guys, take care. Don't forget Blue Point Juniper as a screening alternative. I'll catch you next week. Thanks for joining me.